The tractor, today a symbol of modern agriculture, is not the result of a single invention, but of an evolution that spanned more than a century of experimentation. The first attempts date back to the mid-19th century, when inventors began replacing animal traction with mechanical power. One of the pioneers was the Englishman John Fowler, who in the 1850s was already using steam engines to pull agricultural machinery. However, these steam tractors were enormous, expensive and impractical in the fields. The real revolution came with the introduction of the internal combustion engine. In 1892, the American John Froelich built in Iowa what is considered the first functional gasoline-powered tractor, capable of moving both forward and in reverse. This prototype, although not yet perfect, laid the foundations for the development of modern tractors. In the following years companies such as the Hart Parr Company, founded by Charles Hart and Charles Parr, refined the models, and in 1903 introduced for the first time the term, tractor, which combined the words, traction, and motor. From then on, progress was rapid. In the 1920s tractors began spreading across American and European farms, radically transforming agricultural work. Brands like Fordson, Henry Ford, and later John Deere, brought the tractor to an industrial scale, making it an accessible and indispensable tool. There is not a single inventor of the tractor, but rather a chain of innovators. John Froelich is most often credited with its creation, 1892, while Hart Parr is remembered for officially coining the term and starting large-scale production. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel and watch more interesting videos. Thanks.